an important characteristic that follows TCP's congestion control behavior is TCP fairness. Fairness means if K TCP sessions share the same bottleneck link of bandwidth R, each should have average rate of R divided by K. But is TCP fair? And if yes, why? TCP is fair. And this is a result of TCP congestion control. Let's examine this with the case of two connections that are using the same bottleneck link. The additive increase would be used in both sessions until congestion is experienced. From that point, they will start to compete for the available bandwidth with increases in window size after the cuts in half. They will compete when they sense availability and get penalized when they increase window size too much. This will result in flipping around a certain point in reaching a throughput, which would be the half of the link capacity, as shown in the figure. Fairness is the result of probing and aiming for available bandwidth, and a step backs when experiencing congestion, which is the behavior of AIMD. The question that may come up here is, well, not all network traffic is TCP. So what happens when we do have UDP as well? Is UDP fair? UDP is not fair. It does not have a feedback mechanism and will use whatever bandwidth available. But it also can experience loss without reacting to it in the transport layer. So if an application chooses to use UDP, it is using this greedy nature of UDP to go for throughput without any feedback and adjusting. But it also should have mechanisms to tolerate, compensate, or manage loss otherwise. For TCP, there are also ways to manipulate the fairness to gain more throughput. This could be done with parallel sessions. For example, if we have a link of rate R with nine existing connections, if a new application comes in and asks for one new TCP connection, it gets the rate R divided by 10. This is because it is one of the 10 connections sharing a bottleneck. However, if this new application asks for 11 TCP connections, it will gain 11 out of the 20 total connections over that link with capacity R, which is going to get it almost half of the bottleneck bandwidth. 